good day everybody today i want to show you guys how to use pygenius actually i'm going to upload the source code and the application to github um play store has failed me totally so <laughs> i don't know a lot of privacy policy because i included a lot of permissions on the app for users to use. so i'm going to be putting it on github so um, i'm going to show you guys how to use this code First of all, before I do anything, let me run it. Uh, like I run it before, and you see Home Tom Android version 7 here. It actually runs the code toast. Yeah, it toasts the message here. Now, there's something very important I would like to show you guys. When you declare a variable up here, right, and you imported something to, and you want to put it inside a function, you want to use it inside the function always use global if you don't use global you're going to have errors with that so let me just clear this out and create a simple application not an application though just a simple script right so i'll say a equals to sorry the keyboard is going to be very slow because the frame per second is very slow on your system it might be fast depends on the phone and the laptop you're using so let me say a equals to blah 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 right close this out then when i define a variable here when i define a function here i would say something like uh test right then i'll say print no not this print print oh god not not <laughs> tab yeah print sorry for the slowness and everything so and i'm going to call test right now let me clear the keyboard out and run this we're going to have an error what's the error main error name a is not defined so it's kind of like telling me it doesn't know what a is for until i say global not just inside the function let me put the global up here right i can put sorry let me bring my tools over here click enter so let me say global a when i run my code yeah you should print it out so that's the way it works always use global when you declare a variable and want to use it inside a function so uh that is the way the application works let's use one more example to show this um i don't know what else to create but let's say a equals to two b equals to c equals to whatever we want and then oh god i hit this i'm going to say the test right a Print a. Okay, let's call test and give it a. Okay, this one worked. You can declare a variable and call it inside it, and let's call b. But whenever you want to use the variable directory, direct directly inside the function is going to give you a maximum error like you saw on the code so this is the way it works this is what i want you guys to know so just check the app out and know how it functions so you still have dark mode if you want dark mode yeah though the dark mode is not that cool but still manageable so i'll be pushing out the source code so in case you have a better idea of how things could look 
you you will check it out and it's best you use your computer system to access your phone because kiwi is having a lot of problem with the keyboard android keyboard is having a lot of i mean kiwi is having a lot of issues with android keyboard so i think they are still fixing it so for now using your keyboard in my experience you can't clear uh, some stuff some text out of the text field you can't clear anything or when you do something like a code completion not code completion like i just did right now uh, when you use your android it's not going to clear so that's the problem with the keyboard so um check the video out and um see you guys later